Hey to all craft beer lovers, it's time for another beer review. So the trip goes to Scotland, back again to Innocent Gun. And today we are taking a look at their, uh, the original Quarter Cask Edition. Coming in at a lovely 7.4% ABV, as you can see there, in a 330ml bottle. Limited edition, there's the usual Innocent Gun style, very traditional, nothing out of the ordinary, a little bit of text back there. Uh, of course, there's the cap, Innocent Gun, there you go, brewing company. Uh, came into the with this fine box here, so very, very nice. Uh, a little bit of text back there to see what it's all about. It says that 125 liter oak quarter casks are prized by whiskey makers for their most special maturations. Compared with conventional 250 liters hogshead casks, they import more intense flavors because a greater amount of the spirit is in contact with the wood. Their use, however, is rare because they cost the same as a regular hogshead cask, which means their resulting whiskey costs twice as much to mature. Uh, we have long wondered what f f flavors quarter cask would impair, impart to our beer, and this year we decided to find out. For our first ever quarter cask release, we decided to mature our signature beer, the original in 120 specially selected oak quarter casks. After 70 days, we felt that it had maturated to perfection. And that sounds very, very interesting and very, very nice. Now let's see how this one holds up then. Let's get that cap off, see what we get. There we go, touch of smoke. And this beer is going out. There we go. Gonna move that a little bit to the side, right. And the last drops are out. Okay, so in view, guys, <clears throat> what do we have? Fingers worth of an off-white colored head, a nice uh, golden brown color, good deal of carbonation streaming upwards, very clear to look at, no haze whatsoever. There you go. Looks really nice then. Yep, aroma. Oh, definitely vanilla on the uh, nose right away. That's interesting. Yeah, vanilla. Yeah, a little bit of pear, a little bit of fruity vibe, a bit, bit of apricot perhaps lurking about. I have to say it smells very, very inviting. Fruity, vanilla, pears, apricots, malts. Very, very pleasant. Oh yeah, that smells very nice. So with that said, guys, let's dive in, see what we get. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Yeah, that's a pretty fine beer, I would have to say. That's a pretty fine beer. Uh, does what it says on the tin basically it delivers when it comes to the flavors uh, let's go for another one right away mm. Mm. pleasant drinking little bit of that whiskey vibe to it malts fruits a little bit of vanilla touch of vanilla yeah, very nice. Pretty good mouthfeel as well, I would have to say, actually. Uh, so for me, <clears throat> uh, Innocent Gun, guys, they for me, they tend to be... I mean, it's an old established brewery, but they tend to do some, perhaps one could say, mediocre beers. Overall, I find their beers to be sometimes quite mediocre to be honest there but of course there are exceptions and this one is actually a very nice accept exception so there we go yeah very let's go very nice let's go for a final sip mm. 
So it's very nice. It's whiskey. It's a nice whiskey vibe. It's fruity. It's malty. A little bit of vanilla in there. More vanilla on the nose than in the flavor, but definitely you get a little bit of vanilla vibe to it as well. A uh, little bit of that fruitiness. And a very nice kind of mellow character to it overall. It's not potent or strong, but it's quite mellow and nice. And yet very tasty, actually. So for me, Innocent Gun, uh, their original uh, quarter cask edition, 7.4%. You don't notice the alcohol there. So it's actually one of their better ones, I have to say. I'm going to be very generous just because of that. It's a pleasant drinking beer. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5, actually. I'm going to be very, very generous. 4 out of 5, that was everything I had for today. Chime in, thumb me up if you liked the review. Thank you for watching.